Good morning and praise the Lord. I hope that you are doing well. I hope you rested well. And I hope that all is well within your home. I'm just coming before you to bring the daily devotional from Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. And today is Monday, April 6th. Bring me the sacrifice of thanksgiving. Take nothing for granted, not even the rising of the sun. Before Satan tempted Eve in the Garden of Eden, thankfulness was as natural as breathing. Satan's temptation involved pointing Eve to the one thing that was forbidden her, that was forbidden her. The garden was filled with luscious, desirable fruits, but Eve focused on the one fruit she couldn't have, rather than being thankful for the many good things freely available. This negative focus darkened her mind, and she succumbed to temptation. When you focus on what you don't have or on situations that displease you, your mind also becomes darkened. You take for granted life, salvation, sunshine, flowers, and countless other gifts from me. You look for what is wrong and refuse to enjoy life until that is fixed. When you approach me with thanksgiving, the light of my presence pours into you, transforming you through and through. Walk in the light with me by practicing the discipline of thanksgiving. The first scripture is found in Psalm 116 and 17. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. <laughs> Genesis 3, 2 through 4. The woman said to the serpent, we may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the, from the tree that is in the middle of the garden and you must not touch it or you will die. You will not surely die, the, the serpent said to the woman. 1 John 1 and 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. Amen. I hope that was a blessing to someone on today. I hope you have a great day. Remember that is up to you. And if God woke us up, he woke us up on purpose to walk in our purpose and don't miss the message looking for the mess. God bless you on today.